Hey there, this is Brad with Brad Tech Online, and today I'm going to be reviewing Previx 3.0 against uh, some zero days that I've collected uh, from today. Um, the only uh, changes I've made to the settings, I've turned the heuristics up <coughs> on here to max. Uh, basically turned the program age heuristics up all the way, uh, the program popularity heuristics up all the way, and uh, advanced heuristics up to maximum. Other than that, everything else is set stock out of the box. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, testing begin. Looks like Previx went ahead and identified it as a threat and removed the permission for it to do anything. So that's good, we're one out of one. Previx is a program that was kind of designed to run alongside your traditional uh, antivirus or it can be ran alone. <coughs> So I'm going to have a dead link right there. There we go. Got one right there. Let's see what happens. So like Previx went ahead and detected it. Um, we can go ahead and remove it. So far, Previx is perfect. Looks like we got some kind of notification here that a full system scan is required to remove um, blocks, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, we'll do one later to remove everything. As you can see, this is a fake online scanner page here. Click Fix Now, and it'll prompt me to download a fake antivirus and run. Which then, in return, is uh, detected by um, as a potential threat from Previx. As you can see, uh, Previx has turned to a red, to a little red state down there, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a clean up on it. Look at my processes right quick. Previx is going ahead and starting a little quick scan right here. Um, to go ahead and remove stuff. <clears throat> I went ahead and did a reboot on the system. Um, came very unresponsive and uh, locked up, so went ahead and issued a reset for it in my VMware uh, workstation. As you can tell, I have a threat right here, and I'm going to do a cleanup and allow Previx to do a cleanup. And once again, I found this exe1.exe, and I'm going to tell it to do a cleanup. And it is uh, downloading the disinfection files from the cloud. As 
looks like we just started a, another system scan to uh, see what happens here. Okay, looks like uh, Previx is reporting back clean now, so I can start um, doing it, resuming my test here. Okay, I'm trying to run this bot.exe, see what happens here. Looks like there for a little bit, um, that bot1.exe actually ran. But then goes away right afterwards. Let me try to save it to my desktop. Doing a scan with Previx on the file. Looks like I found the threat when I did a manual scan on it, so um, it may have actually been stopping it from running without notifying me. Then we'll go ahead and lie to uh, disinfect. I think, it's, I think it's kind of a smart idea the way that they're handling each threat here. Um, whenever a uh, threat is detected, it disinfects and then runs a full a, a little scan full scan right here because a lot of times you know it'll a lot of antiviruses will block a file and uh, stuff will get through anyways entries are made and then you have to go back and do a quick or full scan after the infection and right here as you can tell there was a root kit made uh, from that bot and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a clean up. As you tell right here, malicious programs are found and reboot is required to remove them. Please save all your work. And, uh, looks like Prevex is going to restart the machine and clean the root kits off. As you can see, we're back up now, and, uh, Prevex is doing a scan after disinfecting. Uh, a root kit. I've had a couple of dead links off of today's list on the 15th, so I'm going to go back and and uh, find some new threats to throw at it. Okay, looks like Previx has uh, completely cleaned the system off. And... Uh, I'm going to throw the last hit of the list that I got, if it's still up. Let's see what Previx does here. I didn't see any kind of alert. Save this to the desktop. Do a run. Nothing's really happening. Let me scan the file with Previx. Doing a scan right now. One file scans. Zero threats found. Looks like it's detecting as a threat and advising me to clean it up. It looks like it's detecting a high risk rootkit once again. It looks like this file is another rootkit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a cleanup and let Previx do what it wants to do. I like the instructions that Previx gives right here for saving any documents and close all programs. Uh, disconnect your PC from the internet until prompted. Disable any other security products.
It's uh, pretty good at instructions for an average user to do. Uh, this wanted me to do a reboot to clean. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again and allow it to do this.